um, industry ready skilled workforce, raw material availability and low cost of doing business. These are the eight key tenets on which the state of Andhra Pradesh supports the success of its industries. I would now like to invite the Honorable Minister of Industries and Commerce, Infrastructure and Investment and Information Technology from the Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Gudivada Amarnath Garu, to please give his address. Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, Honorable Union Minister, for Tourism and Culture, Shri Kishan Reddy Karu, my colleagues, ministers from the State Government, Honorable Chief Secretary Jawahar Reddy Garu, distinguished industry leaders on the dais, esteemed industry leaders of the dais, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. As we come to the close of Andhra Pradesh Global Investor Summit 2023, I would like to start with a short verse in Telugu by the legendary poet Sri Gurujada Aparogaru. Desa manu preminchu manna, manchi annadi penchu manna, utti matalu katti pettoi, gatti melu tala pettavoi. Translating it into English, it simply means Love your country, spread its goodness, minimize any shallow talk, and put in great efforts instead. I believe that this short verse clearly reflects the Honorable Chief Minister Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu. He is a man of few words and stays away from publicity, but his game-changing and transformational efforts across spheres of governance truly reflects his love for the state and its people. The impressive lineup of several business tycoons who graced the state over the past two days and extended their support in terms of investments to the state of Andhra Pradesh. Can be, it can be attributed to the Honorable Chief Minister's credibility, his vision, his virtue of living up to his word, and as Mr. Dalmia said yesterday, his jokes as highlighted yesterday. Both yesterday post the inaugural session and today we have seen hectic deliberations on multiple sectors with the prospect of developing these sectors as economic drivers of Andhra Pradesh. I am sure that these discussions will help pave the path for future investments and strategic reforms. Over the years, Andhra Pradesh has historically attracted investments all across the sectors, both from domestic investors as well as from the industry, from the international investors. In the last two days of the summit, we look back at the eminent industry leaders who have been present on the dais and varied sectors that they represented. Andhra Pradesh is that one state that can give opportunities across the spectrum, across sectors and across the value chain. Andhra Pradesh has all houses, facilities of companies from countries representing North America, Europe, Asia, Australia and Africa. The strong international community at the summit clearly reflects our global connect. While supporting a larger anchor investments, our government also provides special emphasis on support to our vibrant MSME sector, which is a critical component of Andhra Pradesh economic growth and employment channel. Over the past one and a half day, as part of many conversations that I have had, the overwhelming sentiment within the industry is of optimism and dynamism. To match the abundant strengths of the state in terms of resources, talent and infrastructure availability, our government will work with equal measure of energy and enthusiasm to meet our expectations. We look forward to working with all of you to develop Andhra Pradesh as one of India's economic power engines in the, under the dynamic leadership of Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu. Thank you. Thank you one and all for coming to the beautiful city of Vishakhapatnam.
the city of destiny thank you one and all jai hind thank you shri gudiwala amarnath sir thank you honorable minister now noa air has focused on developing solutions using